Hello, welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. Today we're decorating the Christmas tree. So guys, I'm going to be decorating the tree now. Um, I'm going to do some bits of its time lapses and some bits will be me coming over here, kneeling down to talk to you guys. So let's get it on. So the tree is kind of stuck in the box. Like, it ain't moving. So I'm going to have to go get some scissors to cut the box open. And then we'll get it on. So, I always put the lights on first. I know a lot of people argue whether you put your lights on first or whether you should put your ornaments on first. I definitely think lights is the right answer. So that's how I'm gonna be doing it. Because you put your lights on and then you put your decorations around and the show the lights off. That's how I've always done it anyway. So here comes the lights. So next, we're gonna put the tinsel on. Where you do your tinsel, guys? Um, didn't really mention it with the lights, but like, don't worry about decorating the back too much because no one looks at the back of the tree. Unless you're putting your tree somewhere where people can see it in every direction, then I don't really tend to worry too much about decorating down the back of the tree. Um, try to put your tinsel behind lights as opposed to in front of them, and then it will reflect the light back off the lights, like that is doing, if you can see, you can't see that light on the tree. I'll show you on the next bit. Always as well, put your thickest tinsel down the bottom of the tree, thinnest tinsel top of the tree, um, it just looks nicer. It looks so much nicer when you do it like that. Because you kind of bring, bring the eye upwards. If I was a professional, that's the sort of thing I'd say to try and persuade you on what I'm talking about. Don't have to be too careful with the tinsel on this tree because this tree has got obviously these sparkles on the end of the branches so the tinsel was less important than it can be on other trees. Not too much the tinsel stuck together, that's not something you ever want. Um, all the trees like blue and sort of, it was called, the patch of stuff we bought was all called like pastel berries or something. Um, it was fashionable when we bought it, we just haven't like ever changed it because I quite like the, the fact it's green and purple. I like that compared to just having like your super traditional Christmas colours. I'll like say the thinnest the tinsel greens. always at the top guys. I like the fact it's kind of like a With your top bit of tinsel, in. instead of working your way up like you have been, start at the top and work your way down because you want to make sure that you've got enough tinsel actually get you back down the tree to where your other tinsel is if that makes any sense. Um, otherwise you end up with these massive sort of barren patches. And that's not what you want. Look at that. So that is probably the best tree you'll get to see this year. If I'm honest. So next we're going to be putting some of the balls on. So the first decoration I'm putting on guys is a scented hanging decoration. It's a gingerbread man. 
Um, this was from Poundland, I believe. I think it was Poundland. Uh, it's in my Poundland B&M Christmas haul, which is Vlogmas Day number one. So if you want to go back, you can look at it. The idea is, it's a bit like a car air freshener, but, oh, it smells so much. Oh, it stinks of gingerbread. It smells really nice, really Christmasy. But the idea of that is you can put it on your tree as a decoration and it also make your house smell all festive. Um, it's not the best looking decoration though, so you can go down there. First one on the tree this year. So the last thing you do is to put the star on top. I don't know how this is going to work because we've got a new star, which is bigger than what we used to have. Um, hopefully my sort of maths and stuff is good. Okay. <laughs> um, that's going to have to come out. After a little bit of playing about, I managed to get it on. You ready, guys? How magic is that? So as you can see, my cat, she's hiding, but she's already trying to play with it. I haven't even finished really putting it up. So here's the tree. Ignore all the glitter on the floor and the rubbish off the new um, decorations. I'll put them, I just chuck them on the floor. Look at that, it's all sparkly, glittery and pretty. And then at the top, that new star really adds a new dimension. Um, so yeah, there's my Christmas tree this year guys. So, I'm going to put this on the chairs now. Um, like I've mentioned it in the B&M haul, which if you haven't watched, you should go watch if you like decorations. You just basically slide the cover down the chair. And then it covers the back of the chair and gives it a little Santa hat. I'm now going to decorate the rest of the room off camera and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So, starting the tour at my Funko Pop collection. Got tinsel on and then some just some um, battery powered LEDs. The red ones don't show on camera, nor do the yellow. But there's the red, there's the yellow. They don't show that on camera, but they're there. Um, on the wall, Merry Christmas sign that you've seen before. And they put these paper chains up. We're not super keen on them, but we don't really want to go back up the ladder to take them down. Um, table, as you saw earlier, you've got your seat covers and then the candle that says, walking in the winter on the land. Fish tank's got some tinsel on, and there's no fish in there at the minute. I need to like tidy it all up, but I'm gonna do it after Christmas when I've got time to do it properly. Got elf. We don't have a real fire, so we've improvised this a little bit, guys. That kind of works. Um, bit of tinsel on there. Then you got the Christmas drinks. And last of all, but not least, most importantly, you got the tree with a very pretty star which lights up on its own. So these lights show much better in the dark, even if the video looks poor. You can see the red and yellow lights are there now. Open fire looks so festive in the dark. It's kind of making the tinsel glitter. I don't know if the camera picks it up. Can't really see the stockings in the dark. You can see them shine a little bit from the light sort of reflecting, which is cool. And last of all, the tree. I absolutely love that star. Like I said, it's the first time we've got a star that lights up on its own. But we'll definitely be going back to that year after year. So, thank you for watching me decorate the tree, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, let me know how pretty it is in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. This is Vlogmas Day 9, which means there's 16 more videos coming. 
it means there's eight videos on my channel you can go watch if you haven't seen them already. But yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the sub button so you don't miss the rest of this because there's so many videos. And I'll see you all real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.